Yeah, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President. First of all, uh, I have to tell to Mr. Weber that he doesn't understand how it works. He is a man of his word. Nigel Farage has sent a letter to Nigel Farage saying, I resign. And Nigel Farage has responded to Nigel Farage saying, I refuse. That's the way how it works there. That's the way. So that's it. Okay, let's now come to the, to the topic of today. I strongly support, uh, uh, Vice President, uh, the Commission's proposal of last week on, on migration. Because I think uh, you have taken your responsibility, and that's not the case for the Council. You have, uh, in fact, uh, taken a stand that is absolutely necessary because promoting the interest of all rather than focusing on, on single member states, that is what we have to do uh, to tackle uh, this uh, problem. And um, we cannot uh, continue to say, yeah, it's only the Italians who have to uh, do their business. Or we cannot say um, it's the European Union uh, who is uh, at uh, the source of this problem. Uh, what we need is uh, to have a European solution for a European uh, problem. And I want to condemn, uh, in fact, uh, very strongly those member states who are saying officially that they uh, are in solidarity, but who are already stating they will object to the use of the temporary protection procedure, as we have heard. Uh, I think the temporary protection procedure, uh, Mr. Commissioner, Article 78, uh, Paragraph 3 of the Treaty, has especially been created for that. So let it use it now, and that's the only right that the Commission should uh, uh, exploit to do. And what I don't understand is uh, that, that, that some, for example, the Prime Minister of France, Prime Minister of France, Mr. Valls, uh, I, I think it was last Sunday, uh, said, I'm against quotas, but I am for solidarity uh, in this field. Yeah, I don't understand. It, 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 it's the one or the other uh, that, uh, uh, that we have uh, to apply. And I want also, that's my second point, uh, dear colleagues, uh, agree with the Commission uh, to first start with a temporary protection and only then work in a later stage on a permanent procedure to replace uh, Dublin. But I think it shall be necessary to replace uh, uh, Dublin and not to do it by recommendations, Mr. Commissioners, but by, I think, real uh, legislation. But let us uh, also be clear at, uh, in this debate we cannot go down the road of what we heard for the moment. Uh, Anti-European, uh, xenophobic talk, uh, where people are, are mixing everything. Uh, asylum seekers, refugees, economic migrants. It's not simply acceptable even to equate what some people are doing and to equate migrants to terrorists. So, colleagues, we have a responsibility as European Union, because let's be honest, uh, between ourselves, if we have such uh, flows coming to Europe, it's also because we had an inaction uh, of the European Union in our neighbourhood. Um, uh, we did nothing, after all, in, 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 in Libya. We did nothing uh, in Syria. And that is one of the reasons that uh, so many refugees are now seeking to enter uh, the European Union. And I think we have to learn from that lesson. Learn from that lesson that means that we need also to take our responsibility in our neighbourhood. So support of our group uh, for the proposals of the Commission as a first step. Action is needed, Commissioner. Joint action, common action, and that means European action. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs>